Hey everyone, welcome back to Crucial Classics. I'm Jessica, your 31 year. Is it 31, 32? Actually, I guess we're into 2022 now, so it's probably 32 year classic movie fanatic. Now I want to show you the wall. I always want to make sure I include this in what's going on. This is my living room, okay? And this is not set up because I decided to start this YouTube channel. <laughs> this is my living room because this is the way I've chosen to set up my living room space. So old man face are really important to me, okay? Today, we are going to watch together. Ah, I can't believe that this is on here right now. And I, I personally have uploaded this movie in the past and it was amazing and it was so exciting and then it got a copyright strike and it got taken down. So I know there's an expiration date on this movie. That's the reason why we're watching it right now. It is, da, 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 da. Let me just leave you hanging a little bit, but I'll tell you, it stars Robert Mitchum and Jane Russell. I had to look at her name for a second. I know her by face, but Jane Russell, Robert Mitchum and Jane Russell. All right, let's figure out what this movie is. I'll be right back with you. Welcome to the Crucial Classics YouTube channel, where what we do is watch movies together. We are going to make use of the wealth of free movies right here on YouTube from that golden age of Hollywood. So join me as we will sync up, press play at the same time, and let's just enjoy the magic from this golden age of Hollywood. Okay, so I let you see what it is, right? I put it on the screen that you just saw. Um, yeah, it's Macau. This is an absolutely just delightful movie, okay? Because I think, I'm trying to think if this is the first one that they star together in. They make a couple of movies together and their chemistry is amazing, right? And so that's what makes this movie just an absolutely delightful little experience. It, this is nothing majorly deep. It's not a thinker. It's not going to, you know what I mean? It didn't win an Academy Award. Okay, but it is such a good movie. This is just a strong title from Robert Mitchum's catalog. It's a strong title from Jane Russell's, and it's just fun. It's just a, yeah, you just enjoy, like, the progression of what's going on with them in the movie. So I cannot wait to just, like, let's press play, because like I said, I've, if you have heard any of my previous videos definitely check out the it's about a 30 minute long video but it really explains me and my old movie fanaticism and just my collection i really take you through i take you through magazine by magazine of my old school amc magazine collection back in the day before there was walking dead i mean what the heck happened to amc that is those magazines are from back in the day. I guess it's the day before back in the day, right? When 24-7, all they did was play old movies and they would have one little commercial that played and it was their own produced commercial selling you a subscription to their little monthly magazine. I'm old school. I'm an OG. So I'm legit. You can definitely ride with me on watching a movie maybe that you've never seen before. You might not have seen Macau before. It is an excellent find. And like I said, I have had four or five, six or seven <laughs> of my own YouTube channels where I was uploading movies, just finding the movies and uploading them. No me on the screen. And uh, at one point, Macau was a movie that I found and uploaded and it was okay. It was able to be viewed for a little bit, but then that's what is just merciless about this process on YouTube. You can have your movies up and visible for months and then the copyright owner becomes aware of this and they're not okay with it all of a sudden and they strike it down. So when I had it up, it got taken down and uh, I expect the same will be happening to this version that we have up soon enough. And so I want to point that out. Yes, look, there's going to possibly be some of these movies that right now, as you and I are watching them together, at a point in time, the, they may get struck down. And so the actual link that's in the description right now may not work, but that's fine. You just get your own version of it, your own copy of this movie, and, and we can still do the exact same watch along. So, all right, that's what's about to happen here. So let me explain how we do this. Go to the description for my video here. And if you're on 
YouTube on your TV, momentarily you're going to have to get on your smartphone or your tablet or your laptop to access the description. That's the one drawback on watching YouTube on your TV. You can't ever see the description that anybody's ever talking about. Go to the description. So in the description will be the link to Macau. Click it, get it pulled up. Don't start playing it yet. If it starts to play, just pause it, take it back to zero. Okay, that's the little bit of work you do on your end. Pause me at any point in time that you need to in order to accomplish that. I will be doing the same. I am going to get it pulled up, have it at zero, and then we're gonna do a countdown to pushing play. The countdown will be playing in three, two, one, click. I will actually click the movie with my mouse, so the click should hopefully be audible. And then, however you're watching it, I'll explain how I'm doing this. I'm watching it on my 65 inch screen TV right here in front of me. So I would, if I were you, I would go ahead and watch the movie on your TV, on your larger screen, okay? And then just have me on the side of you. <laughs> and the first time that I was watching myself back doing my watch along, I was like, oh yeah, I definitely am gonna have the movie up on the TV and then I can just have me sitting alongside, right? Like, I'm just a guest, okay? <laughs> you don't need to have me on your big screen and then the movie all little. So the, the goal is, let's watch the movie. But I'm just kicking it with you, we're watching it together. Um, I cannot wait, so I will be right back once I have everything ready to be right at the countdown. Okay, I'm all loaded up, got it on my screen, so let's go. We're going to begin watching Macau doesn't give me the year. I think it's 1951, maybe. Starring Robert Mitchum, Jane Russell. All right, here we go. Playing in... Let me get on to play. Let me get my mouse ready. <laughs> okay, ready? Playing in three, two, one, click. RKO. I... Something tells me that's exactly what I was talking to you guys about in bringing up baby. An RKO picture just has a really good feel to it. it just It's a nice time. <laughs> it's just a nice time of a movie. All right. I've just hit 32 seconds. I'm seeing it starring with Thomas Gomez, it said. Oh, I wonder if I've missed seeing who the gowns are by. Songs. When for my baby. That's interesting. I wonder if that song made its debut in this movie. My favorite singer of all time, Marvin Gaye, recorded that song. Gowns by Michael Wolf. Okay, good. Good to know. I'm good now. <laughs> Executive producer, produced by Alex Gottlieb, directed by Joseph von Sternberg. Okay. Macau. Oh. The Monte Carlo. Hmm. The three mile limit. Okay, well this, why are they calling this the Monte Carlo though? Like this sounds like a crime haven. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, sucker punched. There's a 
lot of twists and turns going on here. Like, I don't know that this guy chose the best getaway route. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> ouch. What a way to go. Oh, uh, yeah, and he's gone. Oh damn, obviously they were looking, he took something from them and then he didn't have it on them, <laughs> on him. International something, oh that's the police department or something, right? Oh, that was a cop. Uh oh. Mmm. I wonder why a New York cop would be all the way down. Well, maybe looking for somebody that did something in New York, but it's just like, that's a long way from home, right? But he looked like he had jacked something from them. What was really going on with that cop, right? Like they were looking in his pocket. That's all they cared about. They killed him. This dude right here though, I will never. Wow. Look at him breaking it down. Go ahead, get it. You know what I mean. Look <laughs> at Jane Russell. Here we go. I'm sorry, but this is Jane Russell. <laughs> no. Uh, uh, she needed a ticket, okay? Like, and she did what she had to do. Really? Yeah. Don't get physical, right? Yes. Ew. Yuck. This dude, you know what I mean? Ah! <laughs> That's a perfect intro to Robert Mitchum. <laughs> obviously had too much to drink because that's all it took to knock his ass out. He's knocked out now though too. Mitchum. I mean, um, the, what situation was she already in? <laughs> so, <laughs> but really, what was going to happen in there? Like, that window was wide open. Like, somebody would have just not have helped her. This dude. I mean, it's like, <laughs> he knew what he was being cast for, right? Like, I've never seen that man in another movie. <laughs> She stole his wallet and now oh, his money is her money and she, wow, she operated quick. I didn't even notice that. I've been talking too much. So let me be quiet. <laughs> She's a little hustler though, huh? Hustled her little ticket.
this guy. Okay. She's very mysterious, right? Wow. Nylons, uh. The shoes, um, pretty free, right? Like, she had a garter on, right? And she's just doing her garters right there on the deck. <laughs> what does it smell like? I'm sorry, but I just always wonder, like, what does that smell like? She's already talking about how hot it is and everything. Like, I don't know. It's just... Why is he just hanging on to that, like... Oh yeah, he just gave those to her. Boy, so far she got a free ticket, jacked all of Robert Mitchum's money, <laughs> and just got some free nylons there. <laughs> this dude, uh, the Walter C. Trumbull or whatever, why is he putting her stinky feet stocking? I mean, is it sweaty? Is it stinky? I'm sorry, but like, I just cannot deal with that. Um, that dude, the, this traveling salesman, he's in, he's just a good character actor, right? and he's in, uh, The Big Steel with Robert Mitchum, too. Oh, I like her jacket. She's very apropos, right? Like, she's in the region with her little fashion, her little attire. Everybody is really um, anxious and it seems almost like a sense of dread as well pulling into this place right now. It's like, why are you guys going here? <laughs> it doesn't really seem to be um, ideal. <clears throat> oh wow, six? He don't travel light, huh? You can just already tell it seems a little not legit. Is this three mile limit business where the car, they look right? Like just right away, some don't seem legit with that too. Right? <laughs> Look at her. Well, she knows what's up. <laughs> She's a 
tough gal. Ah, oh, look at how she looked right at him. His money. <laughs> I love that. Do you mind? <laughs> Lawrence C. Trumbull. Oh, wow. Ah. Really? <laughs> He's ready for his picture. <laughs> Why are they taking everybody's picture in there? What for? <laughs> Because uh, it's like, they don't give the picture to you. Oh, damn. Mm. Oh, that's why the police are chilling just right there, too, huh? Oh wow, you got a long name. Hmm. Oh, lady, look. <clears throat> That's interesting. Um, he told him he has to go to the consulate in Hong Kong, but just ask him how long he's going to be there. Uh, and the, that's what the pictures are for, the cop. Wow, how is the man driving and <laughs> looking all the way in the back of the bus? Do like, uh uh. Watch the road, fool. Like, that was a very busy, <laughs> tight little. He looking, he driving looking like this. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, I forgot that Gloria Graham is in this movie, too. I just had some words. Uh, look at him looking at him. <laughs> Why is he going to close it or all creepy like that? <laughs> Diamonds would only cheapen you. Right? What a way to be cheapened, Foley, please. See you. Wow. 
This cop is like super corrupt. <laughs> the pictures are for this dude. <laughs> what? He will not be as easy. <clears throat> what? Uh, I have never seen this actor before either. Her obvious talents. This dude, I have never seen him in another movie either, though. I like this little scene. Are you an American? I can see why he's wondering. I actually have a little $2 bill. Ah, Corona, that's his money? <laughs> <laughs> That's his money. That's his rare two dollar bill with all that writing on it. This bitch didn't. I'm sorry. I should have just called her that, but she didn't consider that. So, I mean, she seems like one though, right? Like so far, she ain't no little soft and fluffy. Where is she? She's gonna end up being in this room? Like, oh, he just grabbed all this money back. Where is she though? Like, if it's possible that she's gonna be in here all of a sudden, where is she? <laughs> that was her, that was Jane Russell. Oh, there she is. I want it, that kimono. Short snorter, what? Yeah, she threw away his wallet right away. She threw that in the ocean. Oh, she's giving him his money back. That's right. Really? Oh. Uh, <laughs> you really? Well, like, what are you here for? No, I don't know what that means, but it's some type of an insult. What does it mean? Have you lost some weight? This is gonna want him to get to the point. Right? Yeah, really, um, and now I'm just like, do these, these doors don't lock? I mean, chick, is there a way that you can figure out how to lock the door now? I mean, because this fool just walked into her room. So, well, I guess so did Robert Mitchum, too. Though. <laughs> how are you really trying to look up the slats into the room? <laughs> I'm 
this movie it's just a good movie it's just a little straightforward <laughs> I keep it movie It's so wrong, right? It's so wrong. Okay. That's what he gets, right? Like, well, she can talk to you, and it ain't gotta be all this chop, chop, chop suey. <laughs> Like, she just flaunts her assets, right? Like, she makes use of um, her obvious talents, right? That's what that fool said. Hmm. Oh, they're sizing each other up. star like Jane Russell right just a nice full figure just I mean and not but she's just got curves lovely lady lumps <laughs> She's so mysterious and she can tell nobody her business. I love her negotiation. Nerve. I love that. I could sing better for 150. Why? That dude is really creepy. He just has such a monotone, very light voice. Huh? Why is that his name? Really? Okay. What's your real name? <laughs> That does her justice. I mean, it's just all out in the open. He's going to be a Me Too moment. I huh? like, he's just. <laughs> wow. What? Oh, there's Robert Benton. Okay, like, that's not totally creepy. Huh? He's going to leave it just enough to still be looking. <laughs> Oh, he's not just still standing there. <laughs> oh, how did he get over there? Why was he waiting to see this dude? <clears throat> Why he got his 
his money back? Really? Oh, he's just going through this stuff on this fool's desk. A rack. <clears throat> Why does he know anything about this dude? Um, that was just really weird. So he's just gonna watch him walk away. <clears throat> I'd be like, he got his money back. Why does he need money to get back to Hong Kong? And but why did he just go to that dude's office? Why why did he already know like that that dude's the man to see when you need money or you need a job or whatever? I guess because he overheard the cop telling Rosalind not Rosalind Russell. What's her name? Jane Russell. <clears throat> oh yeah, she's got a nice little doing her justice dress on him. I was like, where are the horns coming from? They really have a little band there for her. I love that dress. Giving me the business. Positive. <laughs> Why is he looking at her like that? This dude has like... <laughs> Nothing but that look, right? And the cop, why are they looking at her like that? <laughs> She's doing a good job. You're, you're not giving me the business. That little bath is good. Well, everybody was watching. Y'all couldn't clap it up for a little bit. Damn. 
from? Oh, there's Gloria Graham. Working the table. whatever he says for it too. <laughs> Her gloves are intense, huh? Oh, it's connected to her sleeve. That was cool. I have never noticed that about this thing she's wearing before. That's actually very sick. <laughs> wow. Wow. Is he really trying to get rid of him that hard? <laughs> Okay, he ain't gonna let him take that money, right? <laughs> Does he have an option to, like, take the money, though? Could he? Okay, look. That was nice. When did that fool give him $20? Oh, she shook it different that time, too, huh? <laughs> Could he have, um said, hey, look, I want to keep the 12000 though. <laughs> 50 cents. Okay, where are they going together? Okay, to do what? Oh. Would he have let him keep? He wouldn't let him. He doesn't ask any questions about why that's going to be in his office tomorrow <laughs> what is is he like a criminal himself because he don't be asking no questions uh, and he he already knew that dude was like the one to go to oh she's done with her little shift Really, that's the side that he sat on? There, She was, like, leaving all the room on... Oh, I guess, no, she wasn't. Okay, all right. I mean, but he climbed over her. Huh? This fool is just, like, a stalker. Right? <laughs> I 
Because he's not creepy, right? Like, that's that's why. Because it's Robert Mitchum. And not that gross other dude. Wow. That applies to everybody over. <laughs> okay. So here she is already on his chest, huh? That just happened. getting married right here <laughs> oh okay yeah oh wow okay that works <laughs> She's heard that too many times before. <clears throat> why, um, why did it have to be a totally different situation? He couldn't just reach out to that friend for that job on that island that he just sold her on. <laughs> now all of a sudden it was all up in the air. Yeah, she wasn't down for that. Whose store is this where people are just going to be picking through the shit, huh? Thanks for the dream. Oh, <laughs> that's his door. I was just gonna say like wasn't he trying to get with her like just gonna leave
Whoa. Why? <laughs> Hot. <laughs> He won't go to Hong Kong. He already said that. Mr. Trumbull, huh? He's just a trusting old man. Now, wait a minute. He said there were... That was one stone off of a whole entire necklace that was perfect. And he only wants $40,000 for that whole necklace? Does she have gloves on again? Oh, okay. Oh. She looking at that like she recognizes it or something. Gimpy's a good piano player. Huh? Like I'm just now noticing the little background music going on, but it's quite delightful. This fool's coming out quite good. <clears throat> Why on earth would you, I guess I got to rewind back to 1951 but like that's millions of dollars in value <laughs> if that's a diamond and it's perfect <laughs> right but he doesn't leave. I thought he already told everybody he don't be leaving um, Macau, right? Oh. Some not right. Yeah, his crew. He thinks, right? Like some ain't legit. Oh, uh, all right, thank you. <clears throat> all of this stuff going on in this little man's sideline, be like, what's really, ooh, <laughs> going on? Huh. What does he got to clear up except for just that he's selling stuff, but... <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. That's a cute name. 
My Q. Strong. It's a strong name. Yeah, you can tell. So you gotta be a tough cookie all the time. Gimpy. Oh, she's worried. So when are they going to see each other again, then? That's cute. <laughs> well, that fool's going to be with him most of the time too, right? Like He's just talking about until they get on this boat together. Just him and Halloran are going to Hong Kong, he thinks, right? Oh, is this the three mile limit? Okay. So once you get past that, you could just be doing whatever and the cops gotta stop right there. <clears throat> Those are the first cops from the beginning. Oh, he's... Um. Okay, so he's a cop. And is he after Nick is, oh, that's why he's, okay, I've seen this movie like a million times, I own it, but I just, <laughs> that's why he's got Robert Mitchum doing this thing right now. Got it, he's trying to get Nick for three years. Well, he's a killer, huh, because he be killing people. <clears throat> oh, damn. Oh, ow. He really got knocked out. Oh, uh, that's his own stuff. That's why that girl was looking like she recognized it. And I knew he said he don't leave Hong Kong. Did it? I guess Robert Mitchum didn't tell her what he was trying to do. Ah, see, I'm really like, cool. This is a me too type of situation. You know what?
Her dress is cool. Gross! Like, as if she goes in and finds out that that's what's up. Like, she's coming back over to this fool. There's something too creepy about him. Oh, so he's coming over there because he just expects that Robert Mitchum got f messed up. <laughs> is he like, is he still laying there? On the dock? The little blind man really gets around it. Near the water and everything. All right, yeah, there it is. Like, he's working it out anyway, though. Huh? <clears throat> Where is, what is he looking for right now? Okay, but see, Julie wasn't suspicious that that dude was in the office. Because Robert mentioned... Uh, he's everywhere, huh? This old man. He didn't. Robert Mitchum didn't tell her that he was sleeping with that dude. So she wasn't suspicious to see him there in the office. Oh, but he knows that's that dude's boat, so he's wondering if they stowed Robert Mitchum on the boat. Or maybe not. Actually, he just knows that this thing didn't go down the way that it was supposed to, right? Like, they did not go to Hong Kong. Pardon me with the yawning. It's not like the movie's boring. I'm just yawning. Oh, he's doing Morse code. And he's got a big ring on his pinky. It's about at the size of that stone that he gave to Robert Mitchum. <laughs> oh, yeah, right? Like, something went wrong because where's Robert Mitchum? And do they really even care? Like, I mean... But he's clicking it away, <laughs> whatever's going on. <laughs> clicking it out. Uh... Oh, yeah, because the only way that it could get to the consulate is through a cable. <laughs> oh, and I'm just now figuring this out, too. It went through... Bendix. That's the dude's name. The actor's name is Bendix, right? The traveling salesman. He's the one that said Nick Cochran is missing, and I forgot Robert Mitchum is Nick. I was calling that other dude Nick. Oh, the little blind man. He recognizes that whistle. They're communicating right now. Oh, here's Gloria. Glam in her little gram in her negligee. Huh? <laughs> oh, hmm. 
<laughs> his dice. He got nothing out of her. Nick Cochran, that's Robert Mitchum. Is she mad or worried? Oh, there's a the little man. Well, he knows how to get her all the way um, wherever he is, right? Just took her to the door. I trust him. He gets around, you know what I mean? Everybody's door is just open. Really? Seriously? Like they have, they've kidnapped him and they just leave the front door open like this though? <laughs> Her little purse is cute, too. Wow, in the 1950s, they break it down. Damn, that's so horrible. Hmm, yeah. She's thanking him anyway, though. He didn't know. Oh, yeah. All right, it was a little show. He was just trying to make her leave him. Here's one for my baby. Marvin Gaye does this. Among, people do it. I believe Frank Sinatra did it. But I want to know, is this right here where this song originated? Was it written for this movie for her to sing it first? of a brief episode. Just checking, we're still recording. One, my baby, the road. And that dress is really pretty too. I didn't really ever pay attention to how many pretty costumes, dresses she has in this movie. They really flattered her figure, right? Not that she's a big girl or anything, but she ain't no stick thin. True to your code for baby.
She's so pretty. Um, And I forgot this little band they have for her. They're doing a good job on this song. The horns. I knew she said one for a baby one time. Did she just write that song that night? He just got done saying that he cannot leave the three mile limit and I was just that threw me off a little bit because I thought like once you get past the three mile limit that you're safe or whatever is it until you get to the three mile limit they can't do nothing to you whatever well, but he's leaving oh <laughs> he doesn't trust her <clears throat> so a canary is a woman like they say it all the time in these old movies but like why are we supposed to know that that's what that means so okay don't forget to take your can that canary with you just doing a good deed What are they eating in the kitchen? They're getting their grub on and they let him get out. Oh no, I was about to say, does, does she get it because of that? Why is he going all slow like that? Uh, he doesn't recognize where he is. Cause I'd just be moving a little quicker, you know what I mean? Like what's, what is not his rush? Now they've already, you know, they're on him. This is looking pretty much exactly like where they knocked him out at first. Almost, I guess. They're not quite by the wharf or whatever. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ooh. Robert Mitchum's a big dude. I don't know that that's... <laughs> <laughs> about Robert Mitchum too like he just kind of was one of them bigger dude actors there's like occasionally he might be ripped enough to like just be with his shirt open and shit but for the most part he's just a bigger dude if he does have to show his gut you could just always see he's sucking it in so hard <laughs> he already did do that at one point in here
Okay, why is that dude there? Are they back at the place? Okay, they're back by his boat now, huh? Because there's Trumbull. And somehow that dude, what is the dude's name, the bad guy? I feel like, why do I want to call him Nick? But what is his name anyway? He was saying they already could tell that Trumbull isn't the one that used the um, radio on his boat, but he is the one. Now he's a cop. Don't he have a gun or something? Like, couldn't you be, um, you know, intervening here? Ooh, wow. That just barely missed him. That's what I'm saying. Like, dude, um, why are you not, like, kind of <laughs> using a firearm right now to help Robert Mitchum out? Is he, like, your, um, patsy? Like, you're just gonna let him get stabbed in the back what's going on why is he, I really wonder why is he just watching this happen yeah this definitely looks like where they first knocked him out yeah and this dude is just keeping up but he's like a few paces behind It's kind of messed up because I would highly suspect he has a gun I mean what is Robert Mitchum gonna be able to do here but oh is he trying to get to that boat that's about the only out that he has right now is to try and make it to that dude's boat and he knows how to use the boat huh he told him he could be a skipper for him but actually i don't even think that that far ahead is what he's able to think through he's just oh is this the dude okay with the gun right i knew he would have a gun He got it. And see, they don't even, they don't, they didn't even care, but they did think that that was Robert Mitchum. Nice. He actually really did do a lot, huh? So it is at the three, once you're past the three mile limit, you're in trouble. That's why they had the police boat waiting there, ready to snag him up. Where is he back to now? Portuguesa. He's at the hotel, yeah. She is not playing with him. Oh, shoot. She's trying to kill him just the same way. Jane Russell kind of has to be exploited a little bit. This is a very high slit. But she got the leg for it, right? I mean, <laughs> damn. That fan? Really? That's, who has a fan like that? Oh, wow. Hmm. 
tolerant. Well, he just told you that he worked it out for you to go home. He said you could go home. Halloran. I love that. <laughs> you annoyed me a little when you belted me with that blunt. Oh, they kissed. No, this is Halloran, right? This dude is just so s slow, right? He looks really weird from the backside. And she has some really drastic heels on to be at this wharf. But I guess she's just going straight onto the boat, right? He's so <laughs> monotone, right? Who's just his crew? Oh wow, and Gloria Graham is there too? What for? Is she jealous? Oh, this dude's coming up to her. He's got a problem with her being there. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Wow. You heard what I said. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, good. Good. This guy's a killer. I love Robert Mitchum just with a one armed him. Huh? Oh, and so that's Mitchum on the boat now. Okay. That's the only way she, like, it's him only if things worked out, right? Like, she really can't be sure right now. She hopes it's him. So they have to have arranged the police boat to be there. Okay. <laughs> no, she shouldn't. Right, everybody's got a story that they're not telling. What is that noise? Would the police be all obvious like that? Who is this dude, I wonder? Like I said, I've never seen him in a movie before. Oh, Mitchum knows he's coming up to check everything out. They've been wanting to fight, huh? <laughs> Whoever this dude is, it's like he's holding his own with Robert Mitchum. She don't want to know what's going on. Ooh. Is this... Is where's that boat rocking to? Oh, 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 oh. I pull in here. <laughs> oh, knocked him over. 
But that's that dude. Okay, he's going in after him. Halloran, right? I know that now. Halloran. Oh, he's just going to swim him over to the police. They were waiting for them, at least. They didn't know that yet? <coughs> What's this unfinished business? But you're all wet. <laughs> the innuendos but it's not you know what I mean but like um mm. alrighty then yes the end all right yes <laughs> all right so yay that is like I said this is not gonna win an Oscar okay <laughs> but that's a good it's a good pairing of Robert Mitchum and Jane Russell, right? They star, again, for sure, in that His Kind of Woman movie, but that one is a fiasco to watch. It actually is great for their chemistry, but that movie, um, what is it, Howard Hughes, that really rich, billionaire, eccentric guy that flew airplanes and then wanted to make movies too, he got his hands all over that other movie. And the storyline, it just twists and turns and all these random, weird, not needed things happen and it draws the storyline out. So that one, I mean, like you're strapping in and you're going to watch that because you're really down for Robert Mitchum and Jane Russell. <laughs> but this one <laughs> is like a good movie too, along with just the chemistry that they serve. So yay, we got this one under our belt. Um, I hope that you guys can make use of uh, that link on YouTube for a while. I hope, you know, I hope. But like I said, I previously uploaded this movie to one of my versions of my old movie channel and it got a strike. It got removed. So uh, why, it's why we watched this one while well, we could. All right. So we have a couple more kind of urgent ones like that. Um, that were posted in the month of December. So this one was posted in the month of December of 2021. Um, there's a couple more that have been posted in the month of December 2021 that we're gonna have to jump on. So the schedule that I have in mind for this YouTube channel is once a week uploads. And uh, what we'll be doing over on Patreon is any and everything that you guys can conceive from this era of movies let me know. I definitely expect you guys to be the assistant program directors over there. Um, but like I said, just for an investment in that, I want to actually get some content up and just available for you uh, before I would ask you to sign up to that service. It's not a service, it's just, it's a way to support my channel. But it's also a way, it's a, so there's ways to look at it, right? It's a way to support my channel. So I'll have some levels. It's not going to just be one price point. There's a, if you just want to support my channel, way that you can be over on Patreon. Um, then there's just going to be the every type of movie that will never be up even for a month and a half on YouTube that we'll be watching over there. I'm going to start it out with like a get to know me um, batch of movies. I'm going to go through and upload every movie that I personally own out of Voodoo. It's not a ton. I actually don't un own a ton of movies in any of these streaming services. Um, that got to be quite costly. And then I will say this to you, which is what my stepmother said to me. One time, um, she and my father came over to my, it was like in a new place that I was living. And I was like, you guys want to watch some, a movie or something? And they know I'm into old movies. And I pulled up my voodoo. And by that point in time, I had invested about $200 in my titles that I was showing. And 
you know, I, we, I was showing them Macau, and my dad was excited. He's like, oh, yeah, I remember that one. He's like, I remember you would watch that movie. You know, so he had seen me watching the movie before. But at a certain point, my stepmom was like, she was like, and then she was like, I bet you you've kind of spent a good amount of money already on all of this, huh? And I was like, yeah, I mean, yeah, about 200 bucks. And she was just like, um, you could probably find all of these movies on the internet. I'm just going to say that. So I will show you the ones that I have invested in, in voodoo. But I just said what I said too. So <laughs> that is what um, will make it no holds barred over on Patreon, right? We'll just be watching anything you guys can conceive. I'm down. So that, given the way that Patreon will be working, it's going to become, and I want to explain this for the pricing that it will be listed at. I haven't decided on it yet, but I want to point out kind of what to keep in mind on your concept of it that it will be. It will be a never ending on demand library. And so here's what I've done in the past, but I wanna just walk you through this, right? Turner Classic, and I don't have cable, I haven't had cable for more than a decade probably. So, you know, then it's like, all right, what are the cable alternative packages? Sling TV, I did Sling TV one time because I painstakingly looked to see if they had TCM offered on any package. So you're gonna spend no less than $35 a month there. And I hopped off when they were letting me know, I think they were upping the price. Maybe they were upping the price to $35. I think it had been less than that for a while. But then they were like, okay, you know, just letting you know, we're gonna up our prices every month. So same package, no enhanced programming. We're just raising the price. <laughs> And okay, so why was I for the whole entire 35 bucks that I was paying a month, really the channel out of, you know, 20 or 30 that I had access to. Turner Classic was the one that I wanted. Okay, now fine, you've, you've got an access to Turner Classic movies, 35 bucks a month versus like 100 if you have a full actual cable TV package, right? So it could be 100 or the cheapest I think that I've ever found someplace that actually had Turner Classic in a package offering about 35 a month. Um, and of course, what's lovely about that Turner Classic does a combo of things now when you get it in this type of a package they've got their 24 7 over the air programming everything is not um five stars and they have an on-demand library great great the on-demand library is what i'm talking about yay hooray but then their on-demand library changes every month. So you could come across a movie that it's like, yay, I've never seen this one and I wanna see this one and it's amazing and it's beautiful and it's a sweet little story, but next month it's gone. So I can't just on-demand watch that movie anymore, right, whenever I want to. Cause, and I, you can't download it off of uh, TCM. So the value that my Patreon will be offering you is that, and that's why I want to actually get about 10 titles up on it before I'm even offering it to you guys to sign up for. Um, you'll have those 10, and then we will just always be building from there, but at any point that you sign up from, once I'm ready to launch it, you are going to have a never ending access to those titles. They won't be coming down. They won't be shifting out in a month. They're, they're, you know, there's not a hurry up, limited time, jump on it for you know 30 days to be able to watch this. No, it'll be there for you. Um, I just told you what my stepmother told me to stop doing okay, <laughs> for the cost. And I, I won't say any more than that, guys. Like, I'm not, I'm not getting in that. Um, leave me out of it. But there's just ways to access the movies, right? So one thing I also really am going to try and find for you guys, just, and I want to just be giving you guys access to this. Of course, I think that the way that I'll be able to find it, it will be some type of a link, an affiliate link where I would get a little bit of a kickback if you use it, but that's, I trust any of those affiliate link things, 
pay me like pennies if you clicked my link but this is the only thing that I advise you and I it's like don't you dare there's some movie there's some old movie where that's a, and it's a girl and she's just like don't you dare and she just says it but I don't you dare go clicking links on the internet without premium malware protection okay and I learned that lesson the hard way myself 20 years ago uh, I was on the internet I clicked the link and my computer would no longer turn on after that and I am extremely shiny but I just want to let you know it's my product that I'm wearing is <laughs> I have not I have tried to adjust the shine factor that's coming through it is really not my skin that is like just all greasy it's just it's this product that I'm wearing right now that is giving me a glow so anyway um I went to work and told my IT lady that was working there I was like something happened to my computer this was 20 years ago okay I can't turn my computer on anymore and she was like I recommend malware bytes try that see if it and I it saved my computer I was able to turn my computer on again after I loaded it installed it let it do its thing it found the virus it cleared it out and I have never for 20 years since then been without renewing my annual subscription to the premium version of service of malware bytes I know that's actually going to be renewing for me sometime probably this month and I never remember it except that right now I am and it's never even $50 it's nowhere near $50 um, for a year of service but they just hit you one time and you're good to go premium level that's why I'm telling you the premium service I know why I love it the most of everything is because it doesn't slow down my computer it is constantly running and I love it because you can navigate to different places on the internet and all of a sudden the malware bite screen will just pop up and it's telling you hey we, we don't we're not even letting the site come up on your screen because we have already detected these suspicious not okay for your computer things are going on with it um, so yeah don't you dare click a link on the internet without premium like full strength not a trial version not something that's gonna expire in 30 days but just constantly running in the background without slowing down your computer's performance um, antivirus protection and so I am going to find a way to get a link for that that will just always be in the videos for you guys um, to just yeah don't ever don't dare don't dare look for anything on the internet that you would then click on it to launch it without some type of superb protection but okay that being said this is what's up this is the way we're gonna flow with these and I already like I've told you I have scoured since our last video of bringing up baby I went and I scoured and that's how I got our playlists that are available up on the channel just movies watch those on your own I won't be even bothering to load those to watch with you because I have found a year's worth of programming if we're gonna go week by week one upload a week one movie a week together here on YouTube we're good to go for 2022 and they are all a list actors a plus movies um, I just I'm so excited so please subscribe please like it if you like the content that I'm offering you here but definitely guys please subscribe to the channel um, I need to get this count coming up again um, and like I said in the previous video you guys have probably been subscribed to my YouTube channel before if you are an old movie aficionado and you happened to come across some really great old movies that were on somebody's channel for free on YouTube that might have been me and you might have been subscribed to me in the past crucial classics critical classics cinema classics <laughs> okay that's been me my channels have just been stripped away so we're on this new format it's I am in loving it it's gonna work for us and let's go please subscribe see you next time bye